welcome, this is Alex, the architect for Back4App and in today's Parse Crash Course episode I'm going to show you how to retrieve data of related objects in Parse. So, as you remember from last episode, I have my person class which we populated with a lot of data but in order to bring data from another class I created a new lives at property here, which is a pointer to my address. So I have a few addresses here and uh, there is an address property for it and for a few persons I have set those uh, addresses. So if I get my user here, which is Alex, and I click here, I go back to address and there is my address there, street k number 2. So sometimes you want to bring a person with the related address data and the way we do that in parse is like this so I have my person query here which is querying my person object and first I have to find my own user so person query dot equal to and put my property name and Alex and I can put my let result equals await as always this is an asynchronous call so we have to use await and then person query dot find since result is an array I have to loop through that array so for let i equals zero i less than result dot length oops length i plus plus and I'm going to put console oops let this object equals result index i and then console log uh, this object dot get my name and just to show you I'm going to put another string here and this object dot get and lives at which is my pointer to the address class. So if I go back to my console here and type node index.js this is what uh, it will bring me, my name, but the second property is a complex object is a JSON object so it just prints object object. In order to bring data uh, from another class I have to use the method include and tell which data I'm including. So here on the person query I have to include the data from my lives at property which is a pointer to the address class. Now check this out, I note index.js, it still brought me an object because it's a complex object so I have to get the property of the object I'm bringing. So in this case I'm bringing the object and as always we retrieve properties from parse objects as get and then I have to get my property name from the other class which is oops, address so go back to the code and get address if I save it and go back to my code and load index.js and there you go now I have data from two different classes which are related but running only one query I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you use it on your everyday basis and hope to see you on the next episode. See you soon, bye bye!